best when it comes to Filipino flavor and traditions this holiday season. We welcome back Chef Melvin Trinidad. Hey, Trey. Look at you Look all it. festive. Yeah. Wait, I don't want to cover up the sweater. Oh, yeah, this is a Bret the Hitman Hart, a wrestler from the 80s and 90s. Yes, so of course. So this is his version of the ugly sweater. I don't think it's ugly. It's beautiful. I think yeah. it's, uh, it's flattering yeah. for sure on they you. They say let that geek flag fly. This is, this <laughs> is it. This is it. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. And I also yeah. love what I'm smelling. Right on, right on. Explain yes. to me, what do you mean by Filipino spaghetti? Filipino spaghetti is traditionally, so spaghetti is just tomato sauce. Right. But in the Philippines, we didn't have tomatoes. So when the Americans left after the wartime, mm -hmm. they took all their tomatoes and tomato sauce with them. And we can't grow tomatoes very well because it's very humid. How rude so of us. to make okay. <laughs> to make do, they made banana ketchup, banana sauce. Oh. This is my favorite brand called Jufran. You could find it in the Asian market in the Filipino aisle. So it's made so from, it's from bananas. bananas, bananas and sugar, lots of sugar. Oh. So like Buddy the Elf likes sweet spaghetti. <laughs> so do Filipinos. <laughs> Oh my yep. gosh, I love how you always bring everything back to some sort of theme. Yep. And of course, the holidays, yes. the elf move. I love that. Let's okay. start with your drink here. What's this? So this is um, like an Asian twist on an eggnog. This is a chai eggnog bubble tea. Ooh, so, I've heard of, okay, bubble tea. Yes. yes it's, I, that's everywhere, right? That's everywhere. Okay. So you can make this at home. You can order this from Amazon or any Asian store as well. Those mm -hmm. are the tapioca pearls. Okay. You cook it according to the package, boil them, then simmer them. And that's mixed with almond milk, uh, Portland chai, and a local chai, mm. and a local eggnog liqueur. This is delicious. Isn't oh for me. Cheers. I know, exactly. Sorry. Sorry. I got there started go. first. Cheers. My bad. Mm-hmm. So it's a drink mm. and a snack. Mm, I like that. It's nice and chewy. When you get stuck in the straw, you gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. You don't want to choke. Okay, now All what's right. cooking over here? Alright, so Filipino spaghetti, if you're Italian, look away. If you're <laughs> Filipino, you're like, is he really doing this on TV? Because this is kind of our guilty pleasure. Like Is it a yeah, secret? It's a kinda? secret. It's, it's kind of a secret. You're like, oh, do people like this? Because people get it's like it's different. Okay. All right, all let's right. get started. So I've browned some ground beef here. Okay. So far, so good. Yep. That's eat. That's normal. Mm -hmm. Some garlic. We put garlic and everything. Okay. Some onions. So mm -hmm. you're gonna saute that around for like, like one or two minutes okay. until they, the onions become translucent. Got you. So this is normally served well a lot of family parties, birthdays, uh, but we have a traditional Filipino dinner called Noche Buena. Noche it's our Chris, Buena. It's a Christmas Eve feast. Okay. Uh, we do ours after the Christmas Eve mass. And Got we open you. all our gifts at midnight, and we have this big feast. Oh, wow. So, so this Christmas is one of the Eve yeah. is, the, is the celebration Christmas Eve is in a Filipino tradition. Yes. Got yes. you. Okay. All right, so they're all looking right. like they're looking starting to get a little translucent mm -hmm. there. Now translucent what? There. Um, so we did those. And then now comes, so we do, I do half and half. Half tomato sauce. This is a regular canned tomato sauce you okay. find in your grocery store. Yep. You go fancier if you want, but since you're putting a processed to the banana ketchup <laughs> in it, just, just get whatever tomato sauce you can find. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not so too then fancy this there. is the Jufran, the banana ketchup. Yes. So it's nice and jiggly here. Mm -hmm. The nice thing on the label, it says needs no refrigeration. So Like ever? ever. Like even after you open even it? Even after you open it. So after the nuclear <laughs> holocaust, you guys are going to be chomping down to <laughs> Jufran for the rest of the time. <laughs> Thanks for thinking yep. of us after the apocalypse. Yep. Okay. So just mix that together and you would simmer that like five to ten minutes. Okay. And how much ground beef did you have in there? Uh, in the, uh, the online, I start with two pounds. So okay. this is for big dish. This is more personal size. Got you. Okay. And then just a little bit of heat to oh, round it out. Oh, there you go. You little, and your just heat. a little bit. I know, just a little bit. Okay, I can take it. I can handle yep. it. I think. Okay. All right. So I can. So then you would cook your pasta according to your directions. Any kind of pasta, just regular spaghetti. spaghetti. You spaghetti noodles, since you're calling it spaghetti, right? So yes. Spaghetti is a noodle. The sauce is the sauce. So I okay. guess this is kind of like a banana bolognese. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Filipino spaghetti yep. works for me. Yep. All right. Now what? We'll turn that on. All right, so I have a sauce here that's already ready to go. Mm -hmm. So you've cooked the noodles up, and now yeah. you just pour this sauce, sauce over, over it. Yeah. it. Okay. So tips to cook pasta, check it a minute before it's done. Cook it the package directions. And salt your water. Yes. But then taste your salted water. Really? Yes, because you want it to taste the, you know, it's the salinity of it, but not too salty, oh. not too bland. So just like any kind of cooking, even your pasta water, you should taste. I didn't know that. All right. And do you right. throw your pasta noodle up against the wall to see if it no, sticks to is, see if it's done? No, that is a total um, urban legend. <laughs> is that legend? a myth? Because I've yeah, done old, it and it does stick. Website. It does stick. But <laughs> the only way to test your pasta if it's ready is according to the directions and tasting it. Okay. You'll get that al dente, chewy, yet firm. That's what that means. You're no tooth. fun. You're hey, no fun hey, in the kitchen. I want to throw some there's pasta. Some, there's some food snob things I could let, let go. <laughs> so since this is very rich, it's very... Let's say processed, but yes. nicely processed. Okay. So I, I like to add fresh tomatoes to it. This is kind of my spin on it. Okay. So you get some freshness going there. Okay. And then 
Oh, what also makes it uniquely Filipino is hot dogs. Wait, hot dogs? This is my favorite hot dog sold here locally in Portland. It's like the best hot dog in the world. So I use that. Usually we use these nuclear red, like Asian hot dogs. Okay. But I like this. And more flavor is a lot better. Mm -hmm. So we saute that in the pan for about two to five minutes and then mm -hmm. nice and brown. So and then, then you sprinkle there. that yeah. on top too. So what too. makes this uniquely Filipino is the banana ketchup and the hot dogs. Got you. But hot dog is just a sausage. And people put sausage in pasta. So it's not that weird, Filipinos. Can I get involved here or is there something there. else? You can get in there. Let me give you some Parmesan cheese, of okay. course. Okay. And then, and then a little more garnish. garnish to make it look fancy. Look, yes. bam. That's the fanciest Filipino spaghetti we'll ever see. on TV. Oh, boy. Now, this is not going to. I can't get. OK, you know, I'm just okay. going to taste the sauce. Oh, that's really good. Right. Oh, my God. Everybody should have a Filipino <laughs> Christmas. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is really good. OK, yeah. Thanks, Here. Melvin. Check it. Ooh. Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, that's for you, but not really <laughs> taking a bone. Oh. OK, we're going to have this recipe on our website. Yes, I'm greedy. So what? <laughs> K8U.com. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Now we all know the yeah. secret. All right, now Kara Mack is out and about. Let's see what she's up to. Kara, what's going on?